looking at this line. So let's start here. What is this? This right here. Anybody know what that is? Anyone want to venture a guess? No clue? Isn't that the right? Yeah, the choroid. So that layer is, is what layer of the eye? It's in the posterior section line, but what layer is it? It's that vascular layer. And in this one, this slide is showing, actually, this is part of the tapetum lucidum, tapetum lucidum. That's what this slide has. Right? So it's this, so all this, this dark area right here, this is the choroid with the, the tapetum lucidum. Remember, the tapetum lucidum is a modified choroid layer in sheep, cows, dogs, cats. We don't have it, okay? Uh, so right adjacent to this. It's really thin, but it's like right here. There's this dark kind of line right here. Do you see it's real thin? What is that? If this is the choroid, then what is this real thin right here? This layer right here? What layer of the eye is that? If this is the choroid, what layer of the eye is this? The retina. The retina, the inner layer. So what part of the retina is it? <laughs> so this really thin kind of has some slight color to it. That would be the pigment epithelium layer of the retina. Okay? All right. I'm going to zoom in really quick. Same area. We just zoomed in. This is the choroid. Pigment epithelium would be like right here. So, what is this, this layer right here then? Right, what part? What part of the photoreceptors? So, let, what is this thick layer right here? The somas are the photoreceptors. Right, so that's the soma or the nuclei of the photoreceptors. So then if this is also part of the photoreceptors, which part is that? Uh, I guess you could say it's the... De uh, it's still kind of the body, it's the outer head, where you have the visual pigments. So it, this would be where you see the difference in the structure of the rod versus the cone, right? So that picture in your book, we have some that are rods. These are outer heads. These are the nuclei, the cell bodies of the photoreceptors. So then what is this layer then? This one right here? The bipolar cells. part of the bipolar cells. What is this layer? About the of the bipolar cells. Right, the soma or the nuclei of the bipolar cells right here. That's what all those little circles are, those are the nuclei. Right. Okay, move the slide up. And then what is this layer right here? What part of the ganglion cells? The nuclei or the soma of the ganglion cells. You guys all see those differences? So then what's above this then? What's all this right here? And actually there's this is still part some of the so much in here. What is all this made up of? So you guys all understand how this slide is oriented? If we were to continue to go that way, which part of the eye will we head towards? Interior. 
looking at towards the anterior section, the anterior portion of the eye, the pupil, the lens. This is backwards. So this right here would be what part, what layer, or what part of the what structure in there? This is the ax this would be like the axons of the ganglion cells. So those are the axons of the ganglion cells. And they all go and they congregate where? They come together at the... Where do they go to? They gotta go somewhere. Optic disc? So they all go and form, they all come together at the optic disc and form the optic nerve. So for my students, you might want to know that. I don't know about the other TAs. You might want to know that. How much, how much do you guys want to know that in detail? Yeah, you, you guys know that, right? You need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> you should know. All right, so this space in here is filled with what fluid? Pitrucin. There you go. Okay. All right, now we're going to get a little more complicated. And my students, you may know this or not. All right, so. This was the nuclei of the bipolar cell, oh, the photoreceptors. This is the nuclei of the bipolar cells, nuclei of the ganglion cells, right? So let me, this is in a, this is a little part to see. Let me move it a little bit. I'm in a better way. Okay, so you see there's, the nuclei of the photoreceptors, nuclei of the bipolar cells, there's actually a thin kind of layer right here in between the two. That's lighter, that's a light, lighter color. What structures are found in there? Axons of the photoreceptors and the dendrites of the bipolar cells. Yes. So in this region right here is the axons of the photoreceptors and the dendrites of the bipolar cells. Or we could say it's the synapses between the photoreceptors and the bipolar cells. Right? When they're synapsing. Okay? So then there's this other thin layer right here. What is that then? The axons of the bipolar cells and the dendrites of the ganglion cells. Yes, the axons of the bipolar cells and the dendrites of the ganglion cells or the synapses between the bipolar cells and the ganglion cells, right? For my students, that would be everything you need to know, probably. But uh, actually, one more structure on here. A couple more structures. We're going to have to zoom out. 